Hello, hello, hello. It is time to take a look at my Mirabilia stash. I'm far away from, you know, having all of them. Uh, I'm not even halfway, but I do have uh, a few which are kitted up and some of them have the embellishment packs. So we're not just going to take a look at the patterns. We are going to take a look at the materials I have for them. So it will, uh, it will be a long video. So I'm thinking of, um, you know, uh, doing them in different parts. So, uh, these three are my latest purchase. Um, I don't know all the names of them. Uh, it's Florentina MD. 138. I don't think we will go through all the names. I don't think so. Um, she didn't have too many beads, but um, I really like um, this part of her. She oh, she's beautiful. So it's not like that, but I, I especially like the detail here. So. That's why I want to stitch her. That's what I have there. And then, yeah, as I always say, I hate mermaids. No, I don't hate them. I don't like them. I don't love them. But the Mirabilia mermaids, yeah, I love them. And I want to stitch them all. Mermaid of Atlantis. And she's so pretty. Uh, I didn't get the embellishment pack because they didn't have it. So I just got the pattern. And then this at the Met. Oh, you know, she's not my favorite, but when I see her being stitched up and beaded up, yeah, I, I just, I couldn't resist and I got the the embellishment pack and there's a lot of beads and I just love it. <clears throat> so I have all my Mirabilia, no not all but most of them in plastic bags like this to protect them and to keep the materials together so there will be a lot of crinkling in this video. Just Mind you, you know, crinkle, crinkle on floss tube. What does that mean to you? Ha. Well, so I got this last year on the retreat I was at and I love her. She's so beautiful. It's the Royal Holiday MD78. Mm. She's so pretty. And uh, when I bought her from the lady who didn't want it anymore, she had all the, the beads and the specialty threads as well. So I noticed I can't wait to stitch with this. Um, this is whisper thread and it's so fluffy. And I know there's quite a few of the Royals at least who has has these and I know it's a pain to stitch with but I'm really looking forward to that. Not too many beads. I like when beads and threads come in uh, plastic bags. I just love it. Love it. I don't know why. I like the feeling of it. And the crank, which is so difficult to get now nowadays. And I'm planning on stitching her on green fabric. So I'm not taking, showing you these in a specific order, specific order. I just have them in my box. So I'm just picking 
I have three boxes, so I, I just pick. And in some of the boxes, there are more kits, and in some of the others, there's just patterns. So this is red. Also fully kitted up without fabric. And more or less all my kits come from uh, Hawkins Hobbies. So she's so, so awesome. I can't wait to stitch her. I don't know what MD number 128. So here are the water lilies. I love to stitch with these. And the embellishment back. Oh, ho, ho, look at all the beads. Mm. And those treasures, wow. And DMC floss. Here we have a big one. Ellie, what's her name? Oh, Princess Eliana. You can almost think I haven't opened this, but I, I promise I have. She's one of the later ones. And I think this was the one who has all the new colors. All the new DMC colors, MD69. And here's all the DMC threads. That's a lot of threads. And here I decided to go with a fabric. Um, the called for fabric, which is a, a bit of a purple, purplish lavender fabric. And all the nice beads. So she doesn't have any specialty threads, just beads. It's going to be a lot of fun stitching. <clears throat> now, uh, in the beginning, I wanted to stitch all the Mirabilia's on hand dyed fabrics. I've backed a little bit on that because I think they are so pretty and don't need pretty fabric. They could just go with, you know, plain fabric. But that being said, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to, you know, stitch anything on hand dyed fa fabric. So I will do that, of course, but. So this is not a Mirabilia. This is a Nor Nora Corbett, but I just think she is so, so pretty. There are a few of the Nora Corbett's that I just adore. And it's me. I open, I usually open the pattern. I want to look at, look at it. <clears throat> so, but there are a few Nora Corbett's that I really want. And one I know is with uh, the Princess Bee or something. She's so cool. So DMC threads. And here we have some beautiful green Krennic. And a little bit of beads. Not a lot. She's going to be a fun stitch and I plan on stitching her on the same fabric I stitched my Miss Christmas Eve on.
<clears throat> oh, she's one of my favorites. The Enchanted Mermaid. Oh, I cannot wait. And I think she's the first mermaid I got. I'm not sure, but no, maybe not. But she was the first one I wanted because she's the one with most beads, I think. I think. I could be very wrong. Uh, MD84. And here I got the fabric because, well, she's very pretty as she is. So I'm not sure if I will do it on that or something else. Now, seriously so i didn't get the embellishment pack you can get them like this from hawkins hobbies as well and here are some uh things that are discontinued and they have replaced it with something else and i'm fine with that so beads and if you want to look you know closer on any of the beads or threads you know just leave a comment and i will you know either do a separate video or I'll show you on a floss tube the dmc threads and all the krennics oh boy so this is this is a big big kit <clears throat> Next up is one I actually wanted to start this year instead of my Lady of Mystery, but I had lost the, this pattern and the Enchanted Mermaid pattern, so I couldn't start her. Uh, I have found the patterns again, so yeah. This is Lady Justice. Mm, I love her. Oh, you can go and check, uh, you know, Pam in Just, in, Just Keep Stitching. She finished this one um, this year and it's framed and everything. So you can go check her Instagram or their floss tube. It's beautiful. And it's the MD160. So pretty. And here is the beads. Not too many. DMC threads. And yes, we have the, the Krennic. And I wanted to stitch her on XU Design fabric. And I wanted that yellow in it to fit, you know, with her green dress. So I hope that will be nice. I'm not sure, but I got it as a 28 count. And I'm starting to regret the 28 counts. Uh, I will tell you more about that in my floss tube when we talk about Lady of Mystery. Here we have one of the very late girls, um, Ophelia.
and actually first I didn't want Ophelia, but then I I I regretted it because she is so pretty. It was about, you know, saving a little bit of money, but then I decided I wanted her. She's so pretty. She's almost like a full coverage. Yeah, I really like her. She's growing on me. And um I just made sure to get, you know, um, the water lilies. Is there only one on this? Uh, yeah, I'm missing one more water lily because everything is running out. So I only have one. I need to get the other water lily. And I got the em embellishment pack as well. So very pretty, but She's not fully kitted. Um, I need to go thread hunting once I decide to stitch her. Another favorite, Persif Persifine, Pers Persifone. Yeah, I don't know how you actually Pers Persifone MD one twenty seven, and she is so beautiful. Oh my God! All the detail in this dress and her hair color and the flowers and all the cool background detail oh I can't wait and I know she's really big she's a big lady and here's the embellishment pack lots of beads and there's some of these um, bugle bugle beads and I, this is one I tried to kit up myself. Uh, these are the water li lilies you use in it. These are variegated uh, DMC threads that I was supposed to use in the Harry Potter stitch along a few years ago. That never happened. So yeah, she's not fully kitted, but I think I have all the specialty stuffs. How many? Yeah, two different water lilies. Oh, I actually, I want to stitch her on an orange fabric. And I was in that fight night with uh, Ben, what's um, the stitch me fabrics. And I want this one. I thought it was so cool, but I think that her hair will disappear on this orange, unfortunately. Otherwise I would have, you know, stitched her on this. I think that would be really cool. I think her dress would stand out so nicely on this. So. And then we have another beautiful ki queen. No, she's a goddess. She's the sun goddess, right? Look at that. Oh, and the sheer arms. Oh, she's gonna look so, so pretty. The sun goddess MD-155. And it would be so nice to stitch like on something where there is actually, you know, sun or light coming from this way. Yeah, like she's sunbathing. And I only think I have the embellishment. Yeah. And that's not so bad because it's always nice to have the beads if you want to stitch them. So.
Oh yeah, I can... Um... Oh, this. This mermaid. I'm like in love with her right now. I cannot believe I'm saying that because she is the most ugly mermaid I have ever seen. When I saw her, I was like, who wants to stitch this thing? I mean, look at her. But the more I looked at her... the more gorgeous I thought she was. And she's different. And this is Lilith of Labrador, by the way. And as soon as I'm done with Lady Mystery, Lady of Mystery, I'm stitching Lilith because I love her. I love her. <laughs> and I'm sorry for every time I thought she was ugly. Um... It's a new one, MD-167. And here's the specialty threads. And the embellishment pack. And the DMC threads. So we have all the threads. Now I have been seriously... Um, fabric hunting but then the other day I was just gonna take a look in the little box I have with fabric I don't have a lot and once I bought this it was like the only picture this plus fabric I could get hold of which were the size it's 28 count which mm, I'm not too happy about but I think you know the holes everything looks pretty tight but I threw this in with Lilith in the fabric viewer and I think this is exactly what I want and I cannot believe it. So I'm going to do a, a floss toss. Whoops, sorry. Can I zoom in here? Yeah. We're just going to do a fast floss toss since you're here and I'm here and the fabric is here. I've never stitched on picture this plus. I just know it is very expensive and I don't know why it's so expensive, but it is. Oh, okay. I don't usually do floss tosses, I'm sorry. What do you think? I mean, the call for fabric is, um, what does it say here? Um, water lily linen. And I mean, I think I'm going to try. Yeah. I think this is the fabric for Lilith. So that is something I'm looking forward to to start. And it is a uh, title.
I need to finish Lady of Mystery so I can start my Lilith. How many more do I have in here? Jesus, that one is done. So I have three more. I want her in the front so I know which box she's in. I'm gonna take a look at this beauty. What's her name? Her name is a Renaissance Mermaid. And I've seen her stitched and her face is very beautiful. It's very well shaded. I heard there was something about the Shark Stitcher mentioned her fingers to you. I will have to find out how to fix that. Uh, it's the MD-151. Here's the embellishment pack. DMC threads. And the specialty threads. So, again, I didn't get the fabric. I usually mostly do that now when I buy them kitted up. Just in case, if I don't find anything, I think most of them look pretty as they are. And I know Liesl doesn't agree with me on that, but yeah. <laughs> so here we have Miss Dancing Flower. And I'm just gonna take her out. Focus. She is so pretty. And I didn't get the fabric for this one because I'm going to stitch her on a red fabric. I've seen that XU Designs have some pretty nice red linen, which I am I want to get. Or I think Be Stitch Me has some, some nice too. Anyway, here is the embellishment pack. Lots of beads and treasures. I love treasures. Oh, she's going to be a joy to stitch. Plenty of DMC threads and some very pretty water lily. Uh, oh, wow, look at that. I wonder if it is the, could it be like the flowers stitched with that maybe? Beautiful. So you see, if I'm gonna stitch one mirror a year, it's going to take me the rest of my life, so I need to give them more than just one day every second week to finish. And last but not least, mm, another mermaid. And it's a pretty one as well. <clears throat> Is it Aphrodite? Aphrodite mermaid. She is so pretty. She reminds me of a mermaid from my grandmother's story tell, sto story books um, from Hans Christiansen, Hans Christian Andersen. DMC threads. There's some nice blue in there. Look at those. And 
lots of Krennic. I don't love to stitch with Krennic, but I like the effect. So I like this. And the embellishment pack. So I know that some uh, don't like these big beads and that you can switch them out to uh, sweet water pearls or something. So I'm going to look into that actually and maybe replace these because they are like in her jewelry. So that would be nice to switch out. Yeah, I can just leave it at this. So that was the first box of my Mirabilia's. A lot of kits in there. Um, so we'll call this part one. So stay tuned for part two.